This is a YouTube video. The kind of woman I want to date slash marry and have kids with. At this point in my life, I am no longer attracted to black women because black women have treated me like shit. When I try to talk to a black woman, when I try to even say hi, they're like, like I just, I, they'll give me a, a cold look like I just uh, did something to somebody in their family or something. And then when they talk to me, they'll say, oh, you're a lame, you're a loser, or whatever. And, I, and I'm just saying hi. You know, and I'm sick of, the, sick of the fact that black chicks have these hand tattoos, they have these tattoos all over their body like dudes. They curse more than dudes. They have horrible attitudes. They have this disgusting weave and wigs in their hair. They put on too much damn makeup. They have the fake nails, fake eyelashes, fake tits, fake asses. It's just everything about these black chicks are just fake. And their personalities, they always say the same shit. White women do it too. Not old black women. I mean, they're reading from a script. Is Warner Brothers writing their script? I mean, George Lucas, is he writing their script? I mean, because maybe he can write me a script so I can do a movie. I mean, seriously. Now, my preference of women today is I like white women. I like Puerto Rican and Mexican women. I like women who are mixed with a lot of different things. Just not mixed with black. And that is the type of woman, those are the type of women I would want to marry, have kids with, and date. I can see myself spending the rest of my life with a white chick, a Mexican, Puerto Rican chick, or chick mixed with a lot of different things. Because white chicks, Mexican chicks, Puerto Rican chicks, and chicks that are mixed with a lot of different things are typically chicks that can cook. They can clean, they, um, they're, they're kind, they're sweet, they smell good, all their body parts, for the most part, all their body parts are theirs, and even if it's not, it doesn't, it doesn't look like it's fake, they're, um, they have great personalities, they're kind, and they're feminine and mixed chicks white chicks puerto rican chicks they typically stay fit and i like a woman that cares about her health and her fitness and she likes to stay in shape that's an attractive thing about a woman and, the, and her confidence you know and um i just like that a woman uh, a mixed chick white chick mexican puerto rican chicks are kind you know they're not trying to bring drama in my life every day, start shit with me, you know, argue with me every day. They're peaceful. It will be a peaceful relationship. And, they're, and I like, of course, I like that they're very attractive, of course. I mean, with me being with a white chick and mixed chick, um, you know, I would, only thing I would I would ask from them, you know, I would I would want them to wash dishes, you know, cook. I can cook sometimes because I cook too, and clean and uh, iron clothes. Pretty much, I would handle everything else. I would handle everything else. They don't have to do anything else except that. I would handle everything else in the relationship. We we'll go fifty fifty, taking care of the kids. And um, definitely, I will deliver 100% in the bedroom. I will definitely keep them satisfied. So there will be no reason for them to ever leave me. And I know they won't give me a reason to ever leave them. But if I was with a black chick, I would want to leave her. I want to cheat on her or something. I want to get the hell away. That's why I only date, marry, and have kids 
and he, and at this point, even have sex, just just sex, just casual sex, with white chicks, Mexican, Puerto Rican, uh, Brazilian, any chicks that's mixed with a lot of different different stuff. That's it.